This program contains material of a disturbing nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Against doctor's orders, Rachel Franklin has just squeezed the pus out of her son Paul's infected wound. And out pops a mysterious black object. We were just both shocked. I thought it was a, a, a rock or something, but whatever it was, it just came right out in one piece. And this object has a peculiar characteristic. I'm peering at this object, and it just has a strange look about it. And then I realized it's not a rock. It has whorls on it. And I turn it over, and I think I might have even just laughed out loud. I said, Paul, this is a snail. It's a freaking snail. <laughs> the snail that came out of Paul's knee is known as Litterina scutulata. Inside the tissue above Paul's knee, the snail has been growing. Its presence, detected by the body's immune system, has caused the inflammation, buildup of pus, and black-looking tissue. It was just too strange to be true. <laughs> and Paul, like, typical boy style, like, he just thinks it's cool. <laughs> Litterina scutulata is a sea snail that can survive in a wide variety of temperatures and salt levels and can even live out of water for several weeks by retreating inside its shell. It lives in the harshest of intertidal zones and can survive for weeks in a wide variety of temperatures and salt levels. The subcutaneous tissue of the human body mirrors the harsh conditions where sea snails normally survive. 